Hi everybody, uh, today I'm gonna show you about uh, scene component in Unreal Engine. So if you press right button, blueprint class and scene component. Previously we used uh, actor component. So it's written a scene component is a component that has a scene uh, transform and can be attached to other scene component. If you press the question mark, you will get a page about scene component. So here is the page, here they explain about the scene component. It's a supported based behavior and do not require a geometric uh, representation. This includes screen arm, camera, uh, physical force and uh, other thing. So we, we can also add uh, audio also. So if we go to our uh, uh, any blueprint and if we want to add a component, there is a scene component in uh, which we can add in any, any blueprint. So basically a scene component represent a transform. Uh, basically we use for this like uh, if we want to add a sword we can we just add the scene component and from here we add a static mesh or a skeletal mesh like that I just add an arrow here is the arrow now if we move the scene component if we so this is the point arrow point if we make it a location and uh, everything is zero it will go to the scene position and we can uh, rotate we can move change location we can also change the uh, scale also so we can drag the scene component and we can use it just delete the scene component and just delete the static mesh compile and save and now uh, go to the blueprint class and create the scene component I name it uh, Cypol uh, Synth Component. This is the name I can remember, but you can use any name you uh, want or prefer. So save all. Open the Synth Component. That's it. Even graph. We can add uh, the graph in here. Compile and save. There is the detail. This is now we can add few code in here. So I just right button uh, and add a get owner, and from here I just add a root get root. This is the root, and from here we just add get world uh, rotation. And from here just to make it straight, it look nicer. I just promote a variable and I name it uh, rotate a scene rotation or scene rotate and from here I just add another function set a timer by event now the timer I add uh, point 0.1 and it will be looping after point 0.1 second it will be loop so i just add event graph in this event and i name it met rotate rotate and i add a few function in here i just add the scene rotation as a set and i just split the pin there is the x y and z pin also i get it and also i split and I add plus here add the plus add control and press make 3 and add it and add the value to the x y and z now I create uh, 3 uh, float 3 float variable roll we can make the role uh, pitch and your name also we can make xyz i just uh, give xyz value xyz name xyz the default value is zero to all but we can change it get it x y and z and just open the eye so we can change the value uh, from the uh, level 
compile and save now i just add a one more function set world rotation and the target should be our root component and the rotation should be this compile and save now uh, from the play sector we can find the play sector from world just place the cube it's a default static but uh, we need to make it movable and add the scene just drag and drop now we can change the value in from here so i give x one value and now we can see there is a rotation in x axis we can select it and change the default value also we can make it y uh, y1 it will rotation in y axis and we can make uh, everything every value one it will have then a beautiful rotation in all direction also we can add other object and we need to make the them movable otherwise it uh, did not work so i just add it scene component and give the y axis to one i just add a cone drag and drop the scene component and i just give z axis to one it will rotation on z axis and add a plane and add the scene component and give the x axis to one so if we play everything will be rotated the tone is also rotation if we go closer we will understand so this is for today's tutorial bye bye everybody